Today we're taking a look at the first ever issue of Remain Z and that's coming up right now. Check this Hey, how's it going? My name's Brad. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the first ever issue of Remain Z, which I made back in February 2016. So just before we game, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy it. I'd like to see more videos from me. And let's see if we can hit 10 likes in this video like we did in the last video, because you guys absolutely showed a lot of support. And other than that, let's get straight into it. So back in February 2016, about three years ago now, feels like three years anyway, probably two, but I started making my own comic series called Remain Z, which you can see the cover here with the little uh, title there, How Will They Survive. I put the hard in, but I wanted to change it to How Will They Survive because it sounds a lot better. But this was something I worked on as sort of like a project on my own. And yeah, this uh, kind of went on for about two years in a way because I made about 12 issues of these. But I wanted to show you guys in depth what each issue is like. And we're going to start with the first one in this video. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. And uh, yeah, let's begin. So as you can see from the cover already, this was when I started doing art in a way because this was sort of like what began it all for me. And um, you can see here, like, I didn't really have any proper, like, drawing stuff back in. Like, I only used, like, you know, basic stuff that you can get. And uh, there's a lot of, like, really bad cult, like, you see, like, all the streaks and stuff on here. Like, this is pretty old. And, yeah, we're going to take a look anyway. So, taking a look at the first page here, we just got the little, like, introduction, like, created by me. Issue 1, Breakout. I was going to call it Outbreak, but then I changed it to Breakout. So, you can see, like, all the little, like, how I made, like, an error there. Uh, humans are always trying to find new ways to cure diseases, but when tests fail, you never know what could possibly happen. So my kind of like writing was a bit like different back then, but it's kind of improved. It's improved a lot. So I did I did base this in 2015, and then I changed it to 2019, so it made more sense. Uh, it's 2019 London. This is where our story begins. It was only a matter of time before the hidden secrets of the government were to be unleashed. To the entire human race and i always used to put how would they survive like and i i, I don't I, I yeah i kind of always did like a piece of art as well like on each one so i just did like a magnum on the first one and then i always have this like sort of like disclaimer which is certain character outfits key items and the environment have been colored in to help the reader recognize what is happening so that's kind of why i did colors in here anyway so taking a look at the first page january 2019 she's got like the little like shop scene the guy's shopping there, you know, he's looking around, he's like, he's uh, obviously picking up stuff for himself. Then we got the little, uh, like, this gangster dude, and he's wearing like a sort of like music t shirt. They got like all the dialogue that's going on there. Just to give you, if you guys want to read the dialogue, uh, feel free to pause the video at any point. But we got all this stuff here that's going on. He's got all this there, and then uh, obviously he's starting to threaten him over like coming to the shop and stuff. Hands him over the money, and then. We'll see him on the next page. So this is the bit where like the zombies are introduced. Like we've got the zombie coming in on the left side there. He goes after him. Big R on the on the uh, panel there. And yeah, something you may notice as well is the panels weren't done like properly back then. They were just all like square. But it kind of improved as we go on, and you may see that in the future. But this is the part where he gro grabs the. Uh, bat, the bat that's on the shelf, the little tag on it there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's where this uh, comes into play. So he's like, "Listen, I don't want to have to do this to you." And then, obviously, the zombie just he's a zombie. Uh, this is the point where they don't, he doesn't understand that it's happened. But as you can see, as it goes on, enough of this, die. And then, yeah, he, he, he hits the zombie. Next thing you know, bang, someone shoots him. So this is the part where we introduce another character. It's like, who's there? He's like, hurry, come on, kid, this way. You see him there with his little kill t-shirt. This is one of the kill characters as well that I really liked when I did this. He's like, who are you? We don't have time for this. Ugh. He's like, go, shooting at the zombies. Let's go together. Right behind you, kid. And then we've got this little outside scene, which I did with like the zombies on the glass trying to get out. He put the bat in the door as well so that they, they can't get through. He's like, that should hold it. Moving on to the next page now. We've got the outside scene. He's like, care to explain what the hell is going on? Welcome to hell. So we just got this little like scene here with like the dialogue going on. Obviously, yeah, you can pause if you want to read this, but we've got a lot of like dialogue between the two characters. Then we got like the zombie there and the glass trying to get through, like spilling blood out his own mouth. And yeah, he's still there in that scene as well. Like they're alive, talking about his family. And then we got this like little bush here, and we got like the character, the, uh, the third character's hair. It's like she's hiding behind the bush, just spying on these people. Then you hear the zombie make a sound. And uh, this guy notices and he's like, another one. He's like, don't shoot me. Bang. 
but did he shoot her? Nope. Uh, yeah, so she's obviously like confused, thinking that he's aiming at her, and she's actually aim he's actually aiming at the zombie, and yeah, that happens. So going on to the next page, so I see here like they're talking about like who are you, what you're doing, you know, are you alone? It's like guys, come out! And then it turns out she's with a group of these people here, as you can see. It's like we heard gunshots, and she's just like talking to him. Are you people okay? Uh, this is Kyle, the guy with the little beanie hat there, he looks pretty cool. Like, no, you should have my girlfriend, how can I be okay? So, yeah, the, he's kind of like one of the more like angry characters, like he's overprotective of his girlfriend, and yeah, he's, uh, he's sort of like angry, <laughs> you can tell there, but uh, you can see this scene is like, I'm not gonna let them get away with shooting, like with the dot 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 there, like he gets shot in the chest as you can see, and he's like, don't think about it, like got all these guys with him, shoots him and it was a silencer so obviously you can't hear it you can see the silencer on his gun as well he's like drop it like, leave him alone ha 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 there ain't a single thing you can do so this was the bad guy uh, from the story he's like f1 run and then he stabs the main guy because obviously like he was about to die anyway but before he dies you know like his guys grab all of him and he's like you will suffer for shooting him in the side or stabbing him in the side and yeah, that's when he gets executed, so that's a bit gory there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, I wasn't that good at doing too much gore, I just did like loads of red, that was about it. But you can see this is sort of like the emotional part where they all escape and going about Kyle and like all that stuff. And yeah, that's kind of like the end for Kyle. But actually, as the story moves on, we advance like towards where it's going. But there's a lot of dialogue here if you want to read this. This is obviously them just talking about their like feelings. Like how they feel about the apocalypse, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, they come to this place, which is the guy's home, the guy in the middle, home sweet home. He's like, this is perfect. So this is where they obviously want to go now. And there's a little photo that I did there of like the guy and his son, but I didn't really focus too much on the guy's son because obviously he's not in here. And yeah, this the guy in the, uh, the in the garden. So this is a, like an emotional scene between these two characters where like they're talking about like he tried to save Kyle, all that stuff, and. Yeah, it's kind of like, I kind of put it in here when I started, so I wasn't like an expert at doing comics and stuff back then, so this is like old, but uh, yeah, you can see here they're just talking about Kyle, like how he wishes he could save him, and that's the part where she's like, it's not your fault, you know, and it kind of just builds like, sort of like uh, a story between both of them in a way, so it kind of like, it, like builds up like what it was. This is like old by the way, so yeah, I tried my best with it, uh, and then he comes out like, you both alright out here? And then we just got this scene here with like the fire, the fire started. And what I liked about this scene was I had them all sitting by the fire in a way, like obviously the art wasn't perfect back then, <laughs> it was all like kind of old, but I had it so like they were all talking about their stories and like what they've been through, like how they met, like you know, like she met him at like a, I think it was like a, a petrol station or something, I don't know. But yeah, it was kind of like a way of like get, letting the, the viewer know about like people's stories if they liked a certain character. Uh, I put day two in it, I didn't really need to do that, but I, I didn't do it afterwards for this anyway. But then he's like, what, he's waking up on the, the garden. I, I had him sleep in the garden, I don't know why, he's like Cody. And then you can see him inside the house, he looks at the, the photo from before of the guy and his son. And then you just hear, oi, you see like the, the barrel of a rifle. And he's like, what are you doing here? So this guy is a like police officer and I based him off of like the London police because this is obviously set in London. So that's kind of what I did back then. But as you can see here, there's just a bit of like dialogue going on behind him. He's like, with the guy who lives here, and he's like, there's people still alive. Because obviously he's confused because the, the zombie apocalypse has been going on and nobody knew about it. And he's like, yeah, there's five of us. And then what I did as a cliffhanger with this was I had like the house from outside with the uh, the guy from before with the axe, like just stood outside with like, ha 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 ha, and like exclamation marks. So that's kind of like a cool cliffhanger I did. And yeah, that's it. That's it for the first issue. So on the back here as well, I did a little like created by me series one like gold edition i just did that for fun and i just had this piece of artwork which is like the london on the ground so yeah that's that's about it really so i hope you've enjoyed like this video going through the first issue of remains you guys have been asking me to do this for a while now so i may be doing all the remains comics if you guys would like to see that and yeah if you like to see more videos from me make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss a thing and other than that i've been brad and thank you for watching